Hey YouTuber, good morning, Rob Moffitt. Guys, I've been making videos for 11 years, about one video every week. I've got almost 700 videos, and, and some of the most popular videos I have are those concerning air pistols, rifles, and firearms. And today we're going to be going over the one of the least expensive air pistols you can get. It's a spring-loaded, uh, a spring-powered pistol. It's the Paraline Daisy, uh, Daisy Paraline 340. And I'm going to go over the 17 reasons that are an excellent reason to to like it or to buy it and maybe 10 reasons <laughs> that aren't too good to uh, you might not want to buy it uh the good and the bad uh the, the good outweighs the bad by far uh, i think you'll see um i'm also going to go over for people who have never used this pistol before how to load it in the cockpit name it and so on and um i, I want to show you really quickly over the years, I've made some other videos that are very popular. I made a video on how to use this crossbow. Uh, I, I think the video is called 10 Reasons to Buy uh, an 80 pound crossbow and four bad ones not to. It's one of my most popular videos. This is actually out of 700 videos, I think the third or fourth most popular video I have is this one about this Crossman pump pistol. It's uh, called 10 Reasons to Buy a Low Cost Crossman 1377 Air Pistol. I'll leave links to it in the video description. It's a very popular video. And lastly, I made a video about my 9mm carbine high point. And it's extremely well liked video. Also popular. You can find it. It's called uh, 10 reasons about high point carbine and six bad reasons not to <laughs> Also, I made this case. I'll show you how to make this case You can make it with a jigsaw with inexpensive materials this case Not counting the, the fittings cost like two or three dollars to make and uh, it was a lot of fun and just with the jigsaw But you didn't come to watch or hear about that stuff. I just thought I'd let you know that I've been making videos about uh, pistols and firearms before um, so today we're going to talk about the 10 or 17 reasons to like the uh, Daisy Powerline 340. The first one is the cost. Good Lord, it's only $9.87 on Amazon. And you have so many features that are excellent quality with this little pistol. It's hard to believe they can make it for $9.87. And if you can't find it on Amazon that price you can probably find it at Walmart or, or Dick's Sporting Goods and so on so the, uh, all the good reasons they're, they're not going to go in necessarily the most important they're they're at random they're no necessary uh, order to them just the 17 reasons I think they're, they're good and same as the, the 10 reasons that are bad none of them are more important than they well some are more important than other, but but they're not in order so the first one is the cost you can't beat the cost the second is that it's a spring pistol. You don't need CO2. You can save a lot of money with the spring pistol. And also, there's very few spring pistols for sale left. Uh, this is one of the very few. The third, it works very similar to a real pistol. It has many functions you would find on, let's say, the Beretta. that looks very similar to this pistol. The, the fourth reason, it's very difficult to... Uh, to operate to to cock it so if you have young children you're going to have to have to help them which is a good thing because then it's going to be difficult for them to play around with it if it's not put away like it should be um, so you can also interact with your children and use the pistol and, and show them how to use a pistol properly the fifth thing actually it feels good in the hand when you fill it up with BBs, it's a little heavier, uh, so it, it actually feels kind of like a real pistol. So that, and it's got also a nice feel to it. The uh, next thing is the trigger. Number six, the trigger is very easy to pull. On some pistols, it's not that easy. This one has a nice, very nice trigger. The seventh reason is a reason that a lot of people don't like it. It has very low power. I think. Daisy says this is like 300 and some feet per second, but a lot of people claim it's only around 240. However, that's just perfect for shooting in the house with uh, homemade uh, traps. 
uh, paper targets, cardboard targets. And you know, if if you have if you have this if you have this pistol and you pump it up to ten, and you accidentally shoot somebody, you're probably going to have to go see a doctor and maybe a lawyer. You know, if you shoot someone with this, you you could injure them. More than likely, you're probably just going to need a band aid. And of course, you're always going to need air eye protection. You know, you're an idiot if you don't use eye protection, unless you just like people calling you, you know, Dead Eye Johnson or Dead Eye Garcia. <laughs> you just enjoy those kind of nicknames. But go ahead, don't wear your eye protection in, because when your BB comes out, twelve or uh, two hundred forty feet per second, and you got a wall that's twenty feet away, that means one twelfth of a second you hit that wall, and one twelfth of a second is going to come back and bounce in your eye. So. Uh, the pistol may not have a, 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 as accurate as, as you may w want, but but those ricochets sometimes they're they're the devil. They they really have a pretty good accuracy sometimes. Uh, so it is low power, but that can be to your advantage because this is basically a very inexpensive little plinker you're going to use for targets inside the house or maybe outside close up. Um, you're not going to be shooting the barn an acre away, you know, and making the bell ring. All right, so let's get up to go to go over that. It's ten dollars. All right, number eight, the single shot. It encourages you to have a better aim whenever you you shoot. If you have a a, a, a CO2, you just get bam 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 bam, and you're not really spending the time to take aim and using uh, trigger control and breath control and actually using your knowledge about how to to aim better and shoot better you're just you're just throwing target bullets down the the, the lane and hope you're hitting the target you know when you got one shot you take your time okay number let's see number nine this pistol will break down like a real pistol and i think that's kind of cool if you push this little button in here it makes this little little uh, piece go out and there's a slot in that piece and that allows you to to go and then take this out and when you take this out and you take that out then you can pull this off you just have to be careful because this piece here has a spring in it and it's very very easy to lose however if you do lose it you can break apart a cheap ink pen and you can use a spring to replace that spring. It's not the exact same size, but but ask me how I know. <laughs> but uh, so it's not that difficult to take apart. But because I don't want to lose a spring right now while we're talking, I'm not going to do it. So it breaks down just like it's a ten dollar plastic pistol. And it breaks down like a real pro gun. So I'm kind of surprised. Number number ten. The parts. The more I played around with it, the more I was impressed by how well. It is made and how well the parts fit. That's a sign of quality in my my estimation. The, everything fits so well. When we take it back together and put it back together, I was impressed by how easy it is. Number number eleven. Some people I read about. There's 900 reviews on Amazon. I think I read about 900. Some of the people were complaining about the sites. I thought the sites were good. You might want to put a little dot uh, so you can you can see them because they're, they're dark, they're black. If you had them different colors or white or something, it'd be easier for you to see. Or maybe a red mark. Um, but they're good. They're good sights. Uh, it's number 12. It's actually very, very accurate to, to me for 10 to 15 uh, feet. The day I first got it, the first evening, I just threw a piece of paper up about 10 feet away, exactly 10 feet away, and I got this spread. It, it, I'm not, you know, thrilled with it, but that's what I got. But the next day, instead of standing up, I sat down and took my time, same distance, and I got three of them right in the target about the size of a quarter, and the other three just like about a couple inches away. So three out of six shots went into a target the size of a quarter at 10 feet away. So that's the second time using it. So when people say they're not accurate, maybe theirs aren't. Maybe they're not taking uh, the time to aim and, and uh, be a better, better shot. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not a good shot, but uh, I was able to do that the second time out. So I think for what it is, that's not bad for 10, 
10 feet. And I, I've also done later with 15 feet and got similar, not exactly the same, but, but similar. After 15 feet, it starts dropping off though. Um, number 13, the magazine is so, so pleasant, so simple to just to load and unload. It just comes, it's, it's so sweet. They just press that button there and the magazine pops right out. While we got the magazine out, let's talk about the speed loader. There's a spring right here. This is what holds your BBs in place. And then this is where the BBs come out one at a time. To load your BBs, you've got this part on the bottom and you just pull it out this way and flip it up. All your BBs go right in there. Now you've got something here called a speed loader. What this is, is you take your fingernail and just pop this right out and you pull it till it clicks. You don't want to like break it, but, but you do have to be a little bit firm. You feel it. Okay, hear it? Now, you see there's no BBs there. Turn it upside down and just take it. Then pull, or excuse me, push the speed loader back in. Now you've got 13 BBs lined up. If you need to remove those BBs, just go like that and push it back in. Now you, you don't have any BBs loaded to fire. We're going to put it back in. Now, if you were not wanting to have to take out the magazine to, to load, you could do it while it's in the gun. You would just pull out your speed loader, click it, and then just take it, push it back in, and you should be good to go. In fact, let's look. Make a liar out of me. See, there you go. You're all set to go again. So this is, to me, kind of innovative for a $10 gun. I think uh, I think uh, Daisy should be commended. This is kind of cool. And it is a speed loader. My, and not enough people really said good things about this feature. I, I love it. So the, the, the magazine is really sweet. Number 14, I think this is a good pistol to train beginners. Uh, teach them uh, trigger control, breath control. It's a son of a gun to, to cock though, but uh, we'll go over that in a second. Number 15, it has a safety. I love that. <laughs> I was worried a $10 gun might have one. If you, those of you new to guns, if you see red, you're dead. <laughs> that means it can fire. There were no red, it shouldn't fire. That doesn't mean it can't, but it shouldn't. <clears throat> you always want to assume it can and it's loaded. So, but if you see red, you're dead. That's an easy way to remember. I know when I first started out a long time ago, many mango seasons ago, it was hard for me to get that in until I started remembering that way. <clears throat> now, number 16. It holds a boatload of BBs, like 200 BBs. So uh, you don't have to just put 12 in, whatever, and then 10, 12. No, you just slam them in there and do the speed load and you're good to go, guys. Number 17. It's kind of cool because it looks like a Beretta. That's why a lot of people use these when they're doing videos and stuff. They want to have a fake gun. They're buying these just for that purpose alone. I didn't know there was that many people making videos that needed a fake gun. But if you look at their reviews on Amazon, like one out of every five people said, yeah, I use this for my, my video. <laughs> okay, man. <clears throat> so now I'm sure there's other good reasons why, but, but let's start going over some of the negatives. And the first one is I kind of thought Daisy dropped the ball when it came to their directions. They could have used more diagrams and, and photographs, whatever. It was a little bit difficult to understand exactly how to load and use the speed loader and so on. If you had never used a pistol before, it would have been kind of a little difficult, I think. They could have spent a little more time on the directions. Uh, you wouldn't have to go to YouTube and <laughs> watch videos like this one. Number two, it's um, except for parts of the barrel and stuff, it's almost entirely plastic. So I kind of wonder about the durability. Uh, number three, the accuracy, it does drop off after about 15 feet. I did see more than a few people say they were unhappy with their their daisy because it was random. They would shoot three times, it was good, and the fourth time it would go off. I didn't see that, but that has been some people reported that, and I don't know why that would happen. There are reasons why they would misfire, and I'll go over that in a second. There are very rough ridges here. Number, number four, or num no, number four, it, the the handle, it, 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 the the slide, it's very difficult to cock. It it's if you if you were just doing a few, 
you you would not hurt your hand but if you're doing a lot of them it kind of hurts your hand what you could do is you can take some some duct tape and just put it over your finger and your thumb if you're going to shoot like a couple hundred shots after a while that's going to hurt your hand but i want to tell you a real quick tip the most important tip maybe the whole video a lot of people i think they're getting misfires and it's not working right they're not cocking it right when you cock you're supposed to just pull it and let it go pull it back all the way and let it go and people that are beginners they pull it and they they also they hold on to it as it goes back it's just one motion go and let it go and you see at the barrels cock so that is one of the problems i think people are having they're not they're not cocking it properly and when they hold on to the slide and they they bring it back if it comes back too slow it can cause a jam and it also can cause the BB not to load so you have a misfire number six well I think I went over that a lot of people complained about jams but almost everybody on the on the Amazon reviews that said they had a jam were able to fix it they didn't throw away the pistol they were able to find a way to fix it number seven when you do use a speed loader you're supposed to get 13 shots but some people are saying you're only getting four or five. So when you do use a speed loader that's in, well, it's in the gun, it's difficult to tell how many BBs are actually in, inside your magazine ready to, to shoot then. Number nine, a lot of people are saying this is only about 240 feet per second. And that can be a good thing or a bad thing. So it's not as powerful as Daisy seems to be claiming. Um, Number number 10, a lot of people complain it doesn't have an orange tip because it looks just like a Beretta. If you take it outside, you could get shot, and I can understand that. If you look at the package, if you don't have any red tape or red paint or orange paint or fingernail polish, you can take a piece of cardboard that came with the package, make a ring, and just put it right over like that. Whereas I just cut that piece of cardboard off right here. And I just use some tape. And you notice just a second ago, I put my finger over the front of the barrel. You should never put anything over when it's cocked, even though the safety is on. In fact, let's just discharge this now. Okay. Put the safety back on. So you can just keep this piece of cardboard on and uh, let people know it's not a real pistol because it sure looks like one. Number 11, the directions really didn't have enough emphasis on that thing I mentioned about pulling the slide back and letting it go. I think that would solve so many problems that people are having in the reviews that I saw on Amazon. So those are my 11 things that I don't like about it. Overall, it's a wonderful, in my mind, a beginner's pistol if, if they don't have too hard of a time to, to cock it and it could teach them a lot of things about firearms and they could have a blast anybody could have a blast using this inside or outside with small paper or cardboard targets at 10 to 15 feet away um, so I think I have to give this a thumbs up I don't know why anybody wouldn't spend nine dollars and 87 cents it takes very inexpensive BBs that you can use over I'm going to be making a simple uh, BB trap target trapped uh, out of cardboard and some some uh, rugs some really simple cheap uh, 10 minute project I'll be doing a video on it also uh, I've got uh, a video coming up soon about I went crazy and I bought another daisy <laughs> this is the co2 daisy I happen to think this may be probably the best cheapest co2 pistol out there and we're going to be uh, well, I say we. I'm going to be reviewing this and playing around with it for a month or two before I do the video. And so stay tuned. And guys, don't forget I have other videos about other pistols and firearms. I'll leave the links in the video description. And if you have any tips on the pistols or, or the air pistols or the CO2 pistols or the, the spring pistols, <clears throat> I'm not an expert, uh, but... I am an expert at getting good value for my money and um, 
analyzing why I think is something good for me. All the reasons I told you are the reasons I think they're good for me or the reasons I think they're bad. I'm not saying my my thoughts are are written in stone and everybody else is wrong. This is what I think, you know. So don't be leaving comments about how I'm an idiot. So this is what I think. If you do, I'm, I'm open to suggestions and willing to learn all always. So I hope you uh, like my videos. Hope you go to the uh, video description. I'll have links to those other videos I, I told you about. Also, I'm going to have a link to Amazon where you could purchase the pistol. If you happen to use that link in the future to go to Amazon, anything you would buy, they throw me a few pennies. It always helps me out on my channel. I appreciate that. It doesn't cost you guys a penny. I know that makes somebody upset that, uh, you know, I'm trying to make a, a buck here and there. Hey, Martha, get in here. This guy's trying to make money on the internet. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, I, uh, I really enjoy making these type of videos. I think I'm going to make some more in the future. And I can't recommend this enough. There are some people that that didn't like theirs, that, that they shot kind of wildly or there was jamming on them. I, I've been having a blast with this. Uh, I haven't had a single problem and was able to take it apart, put it back together again. And this, the, the dog doesn't like it, but, <laughs> but I'm having fun. So I hope you like this video, guys, and you, you leave comments that are helpful and instructive and not too <laughs> mean. <laughs> And y'all come back and enjoy. You never know what you're going to find on my channel. I hope y'all enjoyed the video half as much as I had making it. And, uh, and see you out there. Take care.